When you're given a polynomial and a zero and you need to find the remaining zeros, what you need to be able to do first is find synthetic division to find the remaining factors and then set that equal to zero to go ahead and solve. So to apply synthetic division here, I'm gonna take my zero and I'm gonna put it outside my synthetic division bar. Then I'm gonna take the coefficients of my polynomial. Now let's go and apply the synthetic division algorithm, bring down the first term, that's always free, multiply on the diagonal, add on the vertical. So we know that's a zero because by synthetic division, my remainder is equal to zero. So that's a remainder, constant, coefficient of your linear term, coefficient of your quadratic term. So this is a factor. By dividing it here by the zero for in synthetic division, I get this is another factor. Now, to find the remaining zeros, I just need to set this factor equal to zero and solve. Unfortunately, this is not factorable, so I'm gonna have to use the quadratic formula. All right, so now we just need to do some simplifying. Remember, it's opposite of b, so since that's a negative, that's why that's a positive. Negative five squared is 25. Negative four times negative one is positive four times 12 is going to be a 48. 48 plus 25 is going to be a 73.